Las Vegas is the most extraordinary place on earth. Its existence represents absolutely everything and absolutely nothing. story is um, it's kind of like an epilogue scene and it's about a Sunday morning church service and it's just uh, very very sweet and very nice Campbell was a barber chair comedian turned preacher whose Sunday morning shtick gave people who didn't go in for organized religion the chance to claim a more immediate salvation Mike was a chef whose shaved head and broad shoulders made him look more like a linebacker and he had snuck in under the wire just before the service started. Close to 200 people, if anybody was counting. A lot more entertaining than the group counseling session Mike had recently been sentenced to for a road rage incident. Mike did not think he had a problem. It was the judge who had a problem, and his wife. Comic number three was a sweet-faced girl around 30 who was freshly divorced from a husband who had amazed her with all the clever ways he had to justify sleeping with her friends came up with what he called a husband's bill of rights. First amendment to the marriage contract was that a husband has the right to have a hot meal on the table whenever he comes home, even if he reeks of beer and cheap perfume. The second amendment is a husband's right to have no foreplay sex whenever he wants it. Amendment number three says that no matter what the circumstance, the husband is always right. the comic appeal. You have to understand that he was also very giving. For my birthday, he gave me a framed copy of this Bill of Rights. <laughs> Even the men chuckled at this one, making Mike see that in comparison, contrary to his wife's opinion, he was a pretty darn good husband. Yeah. This girl comic was pretty and funny, and Mike wondered what kind of an idiot would be stupid enough to cheat on her. He laughed out loud as she rolled through the rest of the amendments, suddenly realizing why he had never cheated on his own wife. What'd you do with the last page? Give me this. Hold on to that, will ya? What do I got? Oh, shit. This might be fun! Double down. Help me! I promise you guys some blood. Are you ready to see some blood? Mike made his turn. The pickup followed. 
tailgated, cut sharply into the other lane and punched the gas. The driver screaming obscenities as he pulled alongside the Camaro. Mike kept his cool, rejected his urge to retaliate, did not react in any way, which pissed the guy off in the pickup even more until he shot Mike one last fuck you and blasted off down the street. Blast off! As the pickup passed, Mike could not help but notice the bumper sticker on the tailgate, which asked, what would Jesus do? <laughs> Mike laughed. Mike sighed. The end. Sitting in a stale diner, soaking in the local flair. He's a tourist journalist, observing life beyond the script's glare.